Great to see you in another session for setting up API server or webhook receiver. If you have not gone through the video of how to set up a webhook on TradingView and setting up a virtual machine, please watch them. The link is provided in the description. This video will walk through how to set up an API server using Bottle on Ubuntu machine. Since this is a vanilla Ubuntu, we need to set up some basic packages before setting up Bottle, including setting up in virtual environment. Then we'll walk through the Python Bottle installation, which is the core of this API server. This is a lightweight web framework for Python and easy to install and write code. Once we have them installed, we'll write a very simple get and post method. The get calls are just used for querying, whereas post calls can be used to take some action. You can pass payload as part of post. Finally we will write the post method to process the data and take some action item based on the payload. This is a Ubuntu virtual machine running on my Mac. This VM is set up freshly, so we need to even set up the sudo permission for the VBox user. It's always safe to not use root and use with a sudo access of any user. To set up the sudo access, we will first have to get into su, use the vsudo. Add the VBox user as part of the sudo access list. Save and exit. Now exit the su mode also. Now, you can see that, you have sudo permission to install any package, which requires sudo access. Now, we need to install pip, which will be used to install the Python packages. Recent Linux are so user-friendly, just typing the missing command just list out what package needs to be installed. Here, it says to install Python 3 pip. Let's install it. Looks like it requires sudo access, now let's run the same command with sudo privilege. Let's also check if Python 3 is also working fine. Good, it's working too. Now, we need to install the virtual ENV. This is a great tool. If we want to run multiple application on the same VM, and each requires different packages and versions. Then, virtual ENV is the right tool to use. But, here looks like we don't have virtual ENV, but we know that we need to install Python 3 virtual ENV package. Let's install that now. Now, it's installed, let's create a new directory call API server to place our code and set up the virtual ENV. Creating an virtual ENV named API ENV. It got created, but to get into that environment, we need to activate it. Sourcing the activate file under bin will activate it. You can see that the prompt is prefixed with the environment name. In this environment, let's now install bottle. For installing the Python package, we will use pip which we installed earlier. The Python package for bottle is bottle. Now, let's create a file called app.py and write a small code for version call. You need to first import root and run from bottle. The root decorator is where you define the path of your API. Here, we will define the version call with API v1 version. You can give any function name. In this function, we will just return the JSON dictionary with version set to 1.0. For running this program, we will have to specify which interface and the port. Here we have defined with 0.0.0.0 which is the local host or the default interface. The port is set to 8080. We can set or root it to default port, but that setting is not covered in this video. Save the file and quit. Now, for running the program, just type python app.py. This now says that it's listening on http colon slash slash 0.0.0.0 colon I am going to use postman, which is an API client for sending the request. The IP address of the VM is 192.168.86.45. We will need to construct the API endpoint like http colon slash slash 192.168.86.45 slash appy slash v1 slash version and hit the send. Hmm, there seemed to be an error. The reason is, if we do not specify the port, it will default to port 80. Since we are listening on port 8080, we will have to pass the port also along with the URL. Now you can see that the request reached the API server and also it returned the version value. Great, we are able to successfully write the first get API call and get a response. 
Now, let's move on to writing a post call with some parameter. It's almost similar to the get, but we will need to do some parsing of the value being passed using request. A return value is optional based on whether if you want the client know whether the operation was successful or not. Here, we will return a string with success. Save and quit. In the postman, we will change the method from get to post. Change the endpoint. Here, we will need to send the parameters. I am sending a JSON dictionary with two values. You can see that. We are able to retrieve the value from the request and able to print it success fully. Also, we can see the return value with success on the Postman client. Now, let's write a small sample program to see if we receive a webhook from TradingView alert with the buy and sell signal with the corresponding close price. How can we really write some basic trading bot? Here, I created the same post method with endpoint like TradingView alert. The alert is going to have a type, ticker and a close price. The simple logic on this code is to buy a BTC at market when buy signal is received, and close the position when sell signal is received. Also, while closing the position, calculate the PNL and print them. In the postman, simulate as if TradingView is generating an alert with those value. To trigger the buy signal, let's first send the buy signal with some price. You can see that we are able to enter the trade with the price for ticker BTC USD. Change the alert type to sell and increase the price by say $100 and let's see what happens. Now, the position is closed and the PNL is printed as $100 profit. This is just a bootstrap video on how to set up a basic server to write your trading bot if a webhook is configured to be received from either TradingView or any other platform. You can build your complex trading logic on top of this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel if you like to watch similar videos and help my channel. Thank you. See you in another video.